Usually to delete paragraphs, we need to long press the back button. But at times, holding the back button deletes the content we don't intend to. To fight that, you can use this trick to delete the content that's present on the right side of the cursor. Simply place the cursor before the text you want to delete, hold the shift button and long press the back button. Now it won't go past the content you want to delete and everything on the right side of the cursor will be deleted until you lift the finger up. If you don't want to press and hold the back button to delete paragraphs, you can use this trick. You can delete an entire paragraph by swiping with two fingers on the keyboard. Simply keep two fingers anywhere on the keyboard and swipe to the left. You can get the deleted paragraph back by swiping in the opposite direction. But do note that it deletes an entire paragraph only when it's written at a time and it doesn't work if the swipe to type option is enabled. You must have known this trick that lets you use the spacebar as a trackpad to move the cursor to anywhere you want. With a small twist to the same trick, you can select any part of the text easily. All you have to do is long press the spacebar, move the cursor to the text you want to select. Now without lifting the finger up, with another finger, long press anywhere on the keyboard and keep on moving the cursor over the text you want to select and release the finger when you are done selecting. It's that simple. The Samsung keyboard has a dedicated universal search button that you can use to search for stuff across your storage and the web. For instance, if I type the keyword car, I get the corresponding emojis, stickers, GIFs, contacts and also I get the pictures in my gallery corresponding to that keyword. This comes in handy when you want to attach or send images to anyone on any app. You can simply tap on the image to paste it. Having said that, you also get the corresponding YouTube videos right here on the keyboard. You can paste the link of these videos anywhere on your phone by tapping on them and to play those videos on YouTube, you simply have to tap on the arrow at the extreme right. You can have this search button easily accessible by placing it above the keys like this by dragging and dropping it. The keyboard also offers a separate shortcut for YouTube that you can use if you want to search for videos only on YouTube directly on your keyboard. All of these shortcuts can be dragged and placed according to your accessibility right above the keys. One more useful feature of the Samsung keyboard is that it lets you extract text from images or documents without having to launch the camera app separately. You simply launch the keyboard on any app where you want to paste the extracted text. Now tap on the three dots, find the extract text option and tap on it. As soon as you tap on it, the camera will be launched on the keyboard. Now point it to the image or a document that you want to extract the text from and tap on the text you want to scan and copy. You can then paste the copied text anywhere on your device by tapping on the paste button. So those are a few hidden Samsung keyboard features that you should start using to enhance the overall experience. I hope the video was informative. Like the video and comment down appreciating if it was. And subscribe to the channel for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.